Let's really set the stage here. This is not our first time for the inspection team to be at that location. We have repeated... Walt is fighting hard so as not to be sent home. And we have been told... You are trying to get the keys. Yes, we are, sir. Please, let me finish. Will he succeed? In the meantime... Several inspectors are now carrying out some CPT techniques in the quarry, which has now been labelled Polygon 18. CPT, Continuation Period Technology, includes a subsurface investigation by measuring electrical conductivity and mapping the magnetic field, amongst other things. So this is a cross-sectional image of the electrical properties of the ground. It allows us to see the distribution of soil and bedrock in the ground underneath the line where we're doing the survey. Uh, and what it's showing us is that the depth to bedrock is varying quite a lot along this line. What's critical for RN to do some very effective subsoil gas samples is to get a good cover of soil over the top of the bedrock and ideally also target areas of the bedrock which are fractured, which would allow the gas to come through much more easily. RN is radionuclide and taking radionuclide gas samples will feature heavily from now on. There is also an additional overflight to make multi-spectral images of the area. Of course, the inspectors never give up on other areas of interest, and there has been a development in the restricted access site, the RAS, where one of the inspectors had previously taken a surface sample from the tyre of their car that had driven through the area. The sample from the tyre did not show anything. Uh, however, another sample taken on the same day uh, in this location in a, run in a runoff area where water would naturally uh, drain from the quarry did show a positive hit for a very relevant radionuclide. This RAS, labelled Polygon 29, jumps higher on the list of priorities. But will the inspected state party give the inspection team access? Find out next time. By the way, Walt argued his case and won. He's staying in Meridian.